and just because of how many hits are here it's just there's an insane amount let me zoom in a little bit maybe i can give you guys a bird's eye view there's just some type of issue that i feel is in this center part here of this coin here's one of you the most favorite dates of many Carson City people is the 1885 CC Morgan Dollar. Hey guys, it's Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is not your everyday grading video where we're talking about better date Morgan Dollars, a Barber Dime, a $20 gold piece, a lot of interesting coins in this video. You're not going to want to miss it. The way we came across these coins is when we basically asked you guys, hey, you have anything to send in? We'd ha be happy to send it in for you as long as we can film it and document it. And so we had someone that called. His name was Ryan. Uh, we're submitting about, I think, about 15 coins for him today. Just giving a breakdown of every single piece, what we think our grade would be for it, um, what a de grade details, what a great gem state, what a great MS63, uh, what kind of tendencies does it have to make that grade, all of these things are really going to be important in this video. We hope you guys learn something. So ultimately what we want to do when we're sending in coins is uh, when they come back from PCGS is if somebody wants to sell them or uh, wants to consign them, we can do all that for you. And sometimes that's just a lot easier because the coin sent off, it comes back graded. We both know a general idea what the price would be for it. And most of the time we have a customer for that. So it's a really great thing to bring the dealer and the collector together and make some money. And so if you guys want to send coins in, reach out to us, 832-538-4122. If you guys want to sell coins to us, just text us some photos of that number. Introduce yourself. If you guys want to buy some coins from us, AcousticCollectibles.com. Uh, let's take these upstairs to the light box, give you guys uh, a sneak peek of these and what we think the grades would be. Alrighty guys, so <clears throat> it's been a minute since we've used the light box, but we're going to be showing off some nice coins today from Ryan like we told you earlier. Wanted to get into these real quick just so we can save you guys some time and hopefully you learn something. So the first coin I want to show you guys is this nice 1904 Morgan Dollar. Uh, it's a 1904-0 and most of the time what you want to look for is the strike on New Orleans Mint because they're struck pretty weak. You can see that right there on the hair there. I'm um, taking a look at the cheek though, very strong cheek, not too many issues with that. A coin, a little subtle coin roll here, right between these two stars. Uh, nice little rim toning to the coin, luster's very strong. Uh, no, he's really uh, holding this coin back in my opinion. Um, when you flip over the coin, nice full luster again. A little weakness here on, uh, you know, on the breast feathers, but that's something to be expected. I would give this coin probably an MS65 grade to be honest. Um, there is a weakness in the strike, but I feel like the cheek is just so strong here. I mean, it could even be higher than that for me, but I wanted to be honest with you guys and give you my first-hand opinion on it. Just a really stellar coin, uh, very choice, and it was picked out just in time for uh, for a nice submission like this. Uh, the coin I want to show you guys next is this nice uh, 1945 uh, Jefferson Nickel. So, pretty strong luster on this coin. I don't know too much about Jefferson Nichols, really. Um, there's a few kind of hits here on the uh, on the cheek. These were bang banged up and treated very badly. Um, and so, I think a lot of these sometimes are going to be treated with care when they're sent in for grading. I can't really tell on the full steps here, which is going to be a little bit more difficult for you guys to see as well. But, definitely not a full steps there. As you can see, kind of right here by, uh, you know, right here, there's just a very nice smoothing on the bottom of the steps and for me that's something that of course would hold it back um, you know there's kind of a little bit of toning here in the cent center part of the reverse and flip this one back over you gotta be careful with these just because they're so small but uh, you know very strong luster like I said I think that would grade this one a 66 or 67 um, just based on the tendencies that it has like I said I'm just taking a guess on this one not too good with Jefferson's maybe Cole Story will watch this video Cole's a pretty good Jefferson guy Likes to take a look at those most of the time and give us a nice little grade. Here's another one. This is a 1945S, I believe. This one has some kind of goldish toning to it. I think it's pretty nice, but I do think it suppresses the, the kind of the, uh, the luster that you normally see on a lot of these. 
Um, when you flip it over the coin, it's going to have that kind of same type of uh, same type of yellow, but there also is a little rainbow to it. So I'm guessing we're submitting this coin for color. So that's pretty nice. Um, there's kind of a distracting spot here on the coin, which might take away from its grade. It might not even grade it. We'll have to see on that. That might be environmental. And I want to take a look at the rim here as well, because sometimes there's issues. Um, I don't know if that is just toning or that might be PVC. I'm not too sure. I have to take a look at, at that one at the end of this video for for just the, for Ryan to know about. I think this one, if it did pass, I, I would give this one a 64 or a 65. I just don't think the luster is very strong on the obverse of the coin, but it is still very pretty. And uh, yeah, still a pretty neat coin. I think it's, uh, you know, I don't see a lot of Jeffersons like that when I'm looking through stuff at shows. It's just very hard to find. Are you guys enjoying today's video so far? If you are, please leave a like. We have two questions for you. What do you think of the video so far about the coins, about our perspective? And what do you think about student loan forgiveness? Should it be okay? We need to hear that down below. And subscribe if you're new because we're coming out with videos every single week. Grading videos, coin show experiences, uh, coin grading, CAC submissions, everything you name it. And we got a lot of great videos for you guys to watch if you haven't seen them yet. So make sure to check those out down below. Uh, the coin I want to show you guys next is, is eight, I believe it's an 1885O Morgan dollar. So you can see there's a lot of kind of rubbing here on the face. Uh, some subtle chatter out in the fields here. And uh, the luster isn't very strong, but that's just, yeah, there's some nice color on this coin. Um, when I was taking a look at this coin earlier, there felt, it felt like there was kind of an undertone of, of marks or brush marks. I'm not too sure. It may just be from rubbing because this one's just so intense on the face and everything else. But it just felt like the surfaces, in my in my opinion, might have been altered on this coin. It's just uh, like maybe someone wiped it or there's just some type of issue that I feel is in this center part here of this coin. And I've, it's kind of hard to explain, but I've seen them in kind of ANX, ANA holders where something on the face was just stripped off and just didn't feel like it was natural. Um, the reverse is very nice. If this coin were able to straight grade, I would say this coin would hold up as a 63, possibly. Um, this is definitely a 62 side, but I think the reverse could hold it, keep it to a 64, possibly. So I would say this one's a 63 even. But, uh, you know, like I said, there's something here that just bothers me about this coin. I'm not too sure what it is. You'd probably take it, you know, take the money and spend it anyway and try to see what it will grade out as. But for me, it's just... I don't know. It kind of gave me a little bit of a red flag. It kind of bothered me a little bit here. But up next is this another strong, uh, you know, clean cheek dollar here. This is an 1887 Morgan dollar. As you can tell, the cheek's very clean. There is a kind of a, a ding right here on the face. Uh, other than that, it's pretty clear here. But there is a little bit of, I think, rubbing here on the hair. The, the fields are very nice. There's a few kind of you know, striations, as you can see. But, I mean, very strong. I like the coin a lot. Uh, it has some, you know, natural toning on the back of the coin. Uh, it does take away from its luster. There is a fingerprint here, fingerprint there, another fingerprint. So, someone was thumbing this coin up back in the day. But, a little bit of uh, rubbing here on this coin right here. I think this coin, uh, you know, realistically, I think it's a, a better 64 or a weaker 65. And that just has to do with this kind of little bit of problems here on the coin and then a little bit of lacklusterness on the reverse of the coin. And I still think it's pretty nice. And if it has a shot at a 65 and he didn't pay too much for it, I think that's a that's a win. You know, you should take take a shot and see what happens with it. Um, here's one of your, mo the most favorite dates of many Carson City people. This is the 1885 CC Morgan Dollar. Uh, another coin that has a pretty nice cheek here. There are some striations right here under the eye, above the eye, and uh, you know there is some kind of hits here. But I do think it, it's going to be met with more leniency because of the Carson City Mint. I just I've seen that over time. A lot of the coins that I've seen that look like a 62 that weren't Carson City. You know I think that they would and now the Carson City coins would be 63. So it's it's kind of strange how they. I think they give leniency to it. It's just my opinion, but very nice cheek here, in my opinion. Uh, kind of some rubbing here, and there is a, kind of some striations out in the fields, but I mean, it's 85cc, and you know, getting that in a 63, 64, 65 grade is really nice. Uh, you know, nothing 
too bad to worry about here. A few kind of touches or hits, maybe a little coin roll there. Um, a few more kind of spots out in the field, a little scratch here. I think this coin would, would grade a 64, in my opinion. And the reason being is because I think the cheek is strong enough to give it that 64 grade. And I, do, I think 63 on this coin would be a little harsh. But we will see. I think it's still a beautiful coin either way and should be authenticated. Um, definitely a real piece, but I think people will have more, uh, you know, more acceptance. And they'll like it a lot more when it's in a holder. Just gives people more peace of mind. Here's one of the most interesting coins that I like from this video. This is an 1892 Barber Dime. Um, I don't know what to think about this coin. Uh, it's kind of all over the place. I think the luster is kind of even, even in here. But the face and everything else is just, I don't know, this, this darkness here or very flat luster bothers me about it. Uh, there is some kind of toning right above the head as you saw. And there is, you know, I think the, the reverse is pretty nice. Nothing too wrong with it. Um, but I do think that this coin had something done to it. But I don't think that would hold it back from a straight grade. I think barbers, like Carson City, Morgan, sometimes are met with a lot of leniency. Not really with how many hits are on the coin, but really how they were treated. Were they cleaned? Uh, were they messed with by the public? I do think this one does have a shot at being an MS-62 or MS-63 coin. But there's just something here about the luster that really bothers me about the coin. But still a nice one. Really hoping Ryan does well with that coin. I think it's still pretty cool to get it, uh, you know, check it out. I've been buying a lot of barbers lately, so it's uh, definitely something that I've been thinking about. Here's an 1880cc, another kind of tough uh, mortar to find um, for the right price. I think there's a lot out there, but they're very expensive. Uh, just, you know, Ryan's very particular, as I can t see. He's not going to buy anything with too much problems on the cheek. So we take a look at the cheek here again. There is one, you know, I think he lets those slide. There's something that always is right here on the on the face. But uh, a few striations out in the fields here when you kind of move the coin in the light. Uh, but nothing too uh, of a problem with this coin. I do like it a lot. I think uh, this coin, you know, is probably the nicest Morgan that we've seen in terms of grade. And, uh, you know, there's a kind of a distracting spot here. A little bit of rub here. But I think this one could be a 64 plus or a 65. Just based on what I see. Uh, there is kind of a little bit of rubbing here on the hair. But, I mean, very strong. It's a nice coin beautiful luster and man I'm rooting for Ryan on this one I think it's a 64 plus possibly just based on the tendencies that I see and uh, they don't hand out pluses like can like you know very easily so it could be a 64 65 anywhere in between there so rooting for Ryan on that one hopefully he does well with it here's a coin that I'm kind of uh, on the fence about and you'll see why in just a moment so we we're talking earlier about sometimes there's kind of brush people kind of brush coins and when I, when I tilt this coin down, you can kind of see this, this like lines going all the way across onto the two faces, and that's happening all over the coin. And and as I pivot it, without this kind of light, there's like lines going every single direction. Like someone used a a pad and wiped it like this to try to clean up the marks on the coin, and. The way you know that is there's some high points right here that have been rubbed off in a way You can see all the way from the cheek down to uh, Down to his chin and there's some on his cheek as well. So those were the highest points when someone was wiping away Whatever they felt like was a problem on this coin big coin roll here I do think this one is a details coin based on that someone was just using some type of pad to uh, mess with this coin way back in the day uh, there is this kind of I don't know what this what that this down here would be, but I don't think that's too much of a problem. Just some ugly toning, um, but that obverse for me, I would I would grade this one probably at AU details based on that. Uh, something with, with this coin was messed with, and I don't think Ryan should submit that one personally. And that's kind of the goal of many of these videos is to talk to you guys about what we feel is right, what we feel is fair, and give our best analysis back to Ryan and give him what our thoughts would be so he's not wasting his money. Another coin that I uh, get bothered with here is these uh, this 1878cc. So I feel like a chemical or cleaning was happening to this coin. Someone used this to test out something. Just weird toning here, but also it's kind of like they cleaned around the rim of the coin. And 
the surfaces just don't feel genuine. Um, I know the coin is real, but I don't feel it's genuine. And when I flip over the coin, I have the same story. So the toning is starting to fill back in on this coin, and it's not really the natural toning that you're looking for. It's blue and red. So someone used some type of chemical on this coin, and now it's retoning itself in the colors that it would have on its kind of the new layer. So if we thought about the coin as a flat layer and how you know the mint intended for it to be circulated and then one day be kind of a low ball coin like this, uh, when someone puts a chemical on it, it really strips that top layer off, um, the remaining top layer off from it being circulated. And then once that happens, things start to tone over that new layer that's been exposed. And most of the time you're gonna find color that's really uh, not not what you want red and blue never want that um, and so you're gonna see that a little bit on the uh, you know on the obverse here kind of some orangish in, in the fields too and seeing this kind of murkiness around the stars is, is just a red flag so another coin I would say is cleaned and I would not submit personally um, still a nice coin for you know a starter album of Morgan's and I hope he does well with that one and just for me it doesn't feel like it's it's worth grading so this is a 1923 um, $20 St. Gaudens as you can see um, you know taking a look at this uh, you know taking a look kind of at the hits in the fields here and uh, everything that's going on um, definitely not something that I would say is close to gem state I would say you know there's the strike is is pretty strong even though there's a lot of kind of problems here I don't see anything of circulation on this coin when you flip it over, you kind of have the same type of problem. There's kind of just a lot of things that have happened to it. Someone just uh, treated it wrong, badly, or it was in the bag and it got shifted around so much. And uh, yeah, it's still a nice coin overall. Nice color to the coin as well. It's hard for me to pick up on this. Uh, you know, hard to pick up on the tripod here. But I do think this coin would be, uh, you know, a 61, a 62 possibly. Um, if you're lucky, and just because of how many hits are here, it's just, there's an insane amount. Let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe I can give you guys a bird's eye view. I mean, just look at that. Bang, 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 bang. Um, and I'm not sure if this is wear here or rub. So, I mean, I may be even out of MS, MS state here, the min state here. This might be an AU coin. So, um, another thing though, that might just need to be authenticated. If you got it for 1500 bucks or... 1200 bucks, you know a year and a half ago, or, you know or two years ago I think that would be a good play and sometimes that's just what's needed just something that's to be expected Here's a coin that we wanted to show you guys as well 1883 Morgan dollar um, Kind of a little bit of uh, weakness here, but I'm gonna say off the get-go of this coin that I don't think the color is genuine so this vibrancy here um is very kind of disturbing to me. I don't ever see this on coins at straight grade. You gotta have this very vibrant blue. And um, personally, I think this one was put in an oven and uh, just flat side like this. And the toning was rushed. Uh, there's really not any elevation chromatic. So if we go back to what we were talking about earlier, put this coin down like this. Uh, the fields are the lowest point. This is the highest point right here on the top of the coin. And this is the lowest point. So, elevation chromatics, basically, coins start to fill in on the lowest point of the coin, and then they start to then fill in on the top of the coin. So, you're going to you're gonna see different types of colors when the coin is actually toned natural, but when it's rush toning, you can see the M is the same color as the fields. The, the, the hat, same color as the fields. Face, same color as the fields. So, I feel like this one was rushed. I don't feel this one was genuine. I feel like there's elevation chromatics that would need to take place, which means there's different colors that would that would have to happen in different areas for this coin to be natural, and I don't think this one is worth submitting either. Here's a few coins from some 2x2s, some Kamems. Hey, this is a 1925 Stone Mountain. Most of the time on Stone Mountains, you got to check for one thing, this leg. Is this leg doing well? Has this leg been, uh, been rubbing? What's going on? So... You can tell right by here by his leg is just a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit rubbed here. But luster's pretty nice. There are some kind of hits out in the field. You can see this big knock right here. Um, kind of a distracting marks right here. Uh, luster's still pretty, pretty good though. I think it's still pretty nice. And uh, 
you know, just something that I would say is not gem state, close to gem state again. I would say it's probably a 63, uh, maybe pushing a 64. Uh, but there is something right here that's kind of weary to me, this rim ding. So we got to check rims every time we send in coins because uh, things happen to coins. Someone steps on it or hits it with something or who knows how that even happened. Maybe it was put in a machine. Uh, you can see this uh, a few hits here as well um, and this right there. But I was thinking this is 63, 64 territory possibly, but this right here would definitely keep it out of the money. I think this one would be a 63, ideally, at the end of the day. Um, that's the best case scenario. Don't know, uh, you know, how, what level of rim ding someone would uh, make this a details grade. So, when you're talking about rim dings and people's definitions, right? So, sometimes you have a rim ding that is good, right? That's okay. That happens. And there's sometimes there's ones that are so bad and severe that they say that it shouldn't grade straight. And so we don't know exactly what line that is. It's very gray. But I do think, like I said, if it does pass 63, ideally would be the grade that that one would pass at. Not sure if it's worth submitting because it's probably like, what, $100 coin for that. Nothing too crazy. 1934 Texas. We always check on the high points here. Is it, has it been rubbed? Um, I don't see much rub on this one at all. So that's, that's a good sign. We see a little bit of a few dings right below M here. Uh, a few kind of touches there as well. Um, we flip over the coin. Uh, nice little color on the reverse here. We check for the kneecap and also uh, the breast to see if they've been rubbed. Um, I think there's been a little bit, but there's something that, you know, there's not too much, as you can see. There's kind of a definition here between the left side and the right side of the leg, and uh, nothing too of a problem there. This is something you probably would grade, uh, you know, gem state or a little bit above. I would grade this probably a 66. Um, that was probably where, you know, the even keel of everything. I don't really know. I can't really tell somebody either something's a 67 or a 68. That's just something that is more subjective than most coins because a lot of these are just very confusing and very distracting uh, designs that are very chaotic. So, uh, but it definitely is a nice genuine piece. Nothing wrong with it that I could see. Here's a 79S Morgan Dollar. Uh, another coin chosen with because of what? strong cheek but there are some you know a few kind of gentle hits here that are taking away from the coin nice luster in the fields here nothing that i would say is uh nothing that i would say is kind of mint or uh you know nothing i would say is kind of proof like it is flashy but it's something that you know is is nothing too crazy um i think it might be proof like if you you know you got got it with the right person but not as deep as mirrors as i really like um to be calling proof likes luster uh, is pretty good on both sides of this coin. A little bit of toning here, um, and so that's that's pretty nice. Uh, nice strong reverse, as you could tell. I like the toning aspect, but there you see the fields on the reverse. Not very, you know, not very deep here. Just something that's a normal business strike. And so this one I would probably give a 64 to. Um, I do think the cheek has, uh, you know, a strong enough there, but I don't think there's too many problems out in the field that would hold it back to a 63. Uh, maybe it's a 63 plus. I'm not too sure. They might take that luster and that deepness of the mirrors on uh, on the obverse and and bump it up a, a plus. That would be pretty cool. Uh, here's another commemorative one. I wanted to show you guys this pilgrim. So right off the bat, you're gonna see some just very distracting two scratches here. I'm not sure if those are staple scratches or or what. Um, you can kind of see kind of this sheen and how that's kind of like a, a dig right down here there's a coin roll here that's kind of blocking its view but there's a definite scratch that you can see there i'm not sure how, sure how they would take that it's kind of like a rim ding and uh another rim ding right here wow that's a powerful rim ding i don't know if this one will straight grade i think they'll that might be a little severe for them um overall though uh you could see there's kind of like a little i don't know if that has to do with the grade at all but look at his uh <laughs> kind of Look at that, that cheek right there, that's kind of interesting. Flip over the coin, luster's pretty strong. I really love the design on the reverse of this coin. Can't go wrong with that. I don't see too many problems on the reverse as as, uh, as most of you guys can't see it either. There's no scratches and uh, the fields are really nice and clean. But like I said, that rim ding and those kind of light scratches do take away from the coin for me. I'm not sure this one would straight grade personally, 
but you never know. PCGS might overlook it. I would definitely put that in the 50-50 pile to consider for Ryan's uh, submission. Here's an 1887 Morgan dollar. This one as well gives me a little bit of a concern. So the color on this coin is blue and there's halo uh, haloing around the fields here. Um, just something that I don't know a PCGS would pass. This blue here is very, very distracting and not something that I would say is natural. Something that was rushed. And that's just kind of the definition of seeing many coins and understanding them and so definitely would not put this one in the naturally toned category and would definitely grade this one artificially toned and so yeah that's a wrap guys thank you for watching this grading part of the video we will see you guys at the outro if you guys made it until the end we want to thank you for watching today's video uh, please leave a like if you did enjoy it if you learned something from it comment your thoughts about uh, grading right now is it something that you're looking into that you want to start and can we help you with that? Just let us know down below and subscribe if you're new. Like I said, more videos coming out every single week. We, uh, are, we've been consistent for almost, I think, 10 or 11 months, uploading three times a week. So expect uh, videos from us for a long time, uh, but we will see you guys in the next video.